Hello and welcome back to another cantankerous, fantabulous, flippity flan, pancreas episode of the weekly waypoint. Never doing that again, enjoy that while it lasts. Uh, and uh, this is the episode where I don't talk all about the PlayStation 5 news because there's just frankly too much awesome shit to cover. Um, if you are interested in that, in my thoughts on PlayStation 5 event and all that went down, uh, go to my Critigree Live VOD archive channel uh, because I did a whole live stream on it. I was playing Minecraft, it's Minecraft Part 8, um, and it's basically where I react to everything that happened in a PlayStation 5 event. Now, today I want to focus specifically on Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart and Ratchet and Clank as a series, how much I love it, what it means to me, what my favourite games are, what my journey through that franchise has been, because I think I've. I, well, I'm sure I've mentioned it on a weekly deathmatch before, um, but I, I don't think I've really gone into detail about why I love that series so much and how excited I am for a new title and all this kind of shit and it's not going to be some emotional story like it helped me through tough times in my childhood or anything like that although I'm sure it did um, but it's just I, it's just a game I fucking love so much it's so much fun and I love the humor in it and I love the characters and I guess we're getting right into it already even though I was going to start by just talking about Rift Apart in general. As of this morning I've watched the trailer four times um, although this morning I watched Game Explains analysis on it and it's made me even more excited for the game which I didn't think was even possible um, because I used to I used to like roll my eyes at like t top 10 things you missed videos and Game Explained don't frame bears that way but there's definitely some merit to them because even though I've watched that trailer multiple times I'm surprised at the amount of shit I missed um, and as much as I'm a huge fan of a series, I didn't recognise planets just by looking at them and all that kind of stuff. And it's exciting to see just how many different parts of the series as a whole make up this game. Like, so many different planets from so many different games, um, and it's kind of, it kind of mostly 90% confirms the idea that we're going back to the original canon, although I think since this is going through multiple dimensions we might toy around with the idea of merging it for reboot in a weird way and like just like even as an easter egg uh just as a way of being like oh hey look it's us again but yeah it looks bloody gorgeous and it looks fun and i can't i'm just gonna sit here and ramble about it if i keep talking about rift apart the game so instead i'm gonna tell you about ratchet and clank and me i got ratchet and clank for one of my birthdays not sure which maybe i was eight or nine or something like that actually i might have even been younger but it was the first one on ps2 and in my mind it was I hope he never sees this video. It is one of those games that my dad would get me for my birthday to be like, Christian would really like this. And as a kid, there was always that one present kind of thing where I was like, why did he get me this? And Ratchet and Clank was that present. I looked at it and I looked at the back of it. I was like, this game looks weird. I don't, I don't understand why he got me this. And then I played it and I, I'm too young to remember, what, or like I was too young for me to now remember what my initial impressions were. But I just obviously know that I must have really enjoyed it, but I think my level of love for the series didn't come until the sequel, but we'll get to that in a second. I originally thought there were only five levels in the game because I got stuck on the fifth one, which was um, Chairman Drek's um, ship. I couldn't get past... I don't think I could even get to the boss. I was just stuck. And then I also remember I had a friend who got stuck on the planet which I think comes after that one, or maybe two planets after that one, which is Planet Rilgar with all the hoverboard stuff. He couldn't get past the Rising Water segment, I remember helping him through that and he was able to continue playing the game after that, so that was a fun childhood memory. But it was Ratchet and Clank 2, which was called, sadly called Locked and Loaded here in Europe. Um, I think it was called Going Commando in the States, like that was its original title. Um, but that was a game that really fucking grabbed me. I've played that game so many times, I've beaten it so many times. I loved the weapon upgrading system, I loved the planets, I loved the story. Just everything about that game is my. I concede that Ratchet and Clank 3 is the better game, and I love all of them, but Ratchet and Clank 2 is my favourite PS2 era Ratchet and Clank, just because of the memories I have of it and the familiarity I have of it. And I went back and looked on PSN profiles to see how much of a game I had perfected, and I got a platinum in that game very quickly. Um, I actually perfected Ratchet and Clank 3 on PS2 shortly before I got my PS3 and the HD collection, so. I need to perfect Ratchet and Clank 3 because it was so soon 
since I did the PS2 perfection, I barely played it on PS3. So I was looking through my PSN profiles earlier, I was like, oh fuck yeah, I've still got Ratchet and Clank 3 to perfect, so I'll be really happy to go back and do that right now. Sadly, I can't without digging up my PS3 and hooking it up, which is too much effort for me because I'm a lazy boy. But I really wish they'd add those games to PS now because I don't mind streaming them if they stream well. Like, that's a whole different conversation, that service has ups and downs and it's good depending on the game you play, I think, because of performance requirements and the way PS3 has to be streamed, but... I just wish they would add the Ratchet and Clank HD collection to PS Now, that would make me really bloody happy. And also Tools of Destruction, I don't know why that one is missing. Uh, Deadlocked, or Gladiator, the final PS2 game, uh, is a bit different, but I really like it for what it is, and it probably was my gateway drug into games like Unreal Tournament, to be honest, even though my dad bought Unreal Tournament on PS2 for me as a kid. Um, which, now that I say that, sounds a bit questionable, given that this game's probably like an 18 or something, but... Yeah. But yeah, on PS3, I got uh, I got my PS3 alongside Ratchet & Clank Tours of Destruction, Quest for Booty, and A Crack in Time all at the same time, um, because I got the PS3 fairly late in its life cycle, and obviously I wanted it mainly for Ratchet & Clank. I was pining for it for years, purely for Ratchet & Clank, um, and I played through probably about half of Tours of Destruction before... Um, okay, so I was really excited about the achievement trophy system uh, for the PS3, and Tools of Destruction and Quest for Booty didn't have it, Kraken Time did, and something about Tools of Destruction must have just not gelled with me um, as much as I wanted it to, because I jumped straight ahead to Kraken Time to do the trophies and stuff in that game. So now one of the things I really want to do is go back and play through all of Tools of Destruction and Quest for Booty and everything, because I want to just... I want to. I know I'll enjoy those games if I sink some time into them, and I want to kind of like really immerse myself in Ratchet and Clank at the minute, as you can probably tell. A crack in time, by the way. I have two achievements left to get. Uh, I checked earlier, and one is to get all gold bolts. And I remember I have one final gold bolt to get, but it is a puzzle which I could not figure out how to do, even when looking up a guide for it. I guess my attention span's just really shit, and I couldn't wrap my mind around it. Um, and the other achievement is to complete the game on hard difficulty because this was one of my first achievement runs I ever did and sadly I didn't realise that if you beat the game on hard mode you also get the trophies for beating it on normal and easy mode. I was just going to start with normal and then do hard and then easy or something like that. But on the upside that does justify an entirely new run through the game so maybe I'll get going on that through PS Now because that one is on PS Now. I pre-ordered into the Nexus, I think that was around uni time, 2013-ish, um, and I got that arrived at my house the day of release and for some fucking reason I played the first level and then stopped and that is a game I need to go back and finish. Look, as much as I love Ratchet and Clank, there are certain times when certain games just aren't going to gel with you and you need to come back to them at another time, and that's probably the case of Into the Nexus, but now I'm just like, damn it! That was like the last game in the current, in like the original canon of the series as well, so... Um, I did try Q-Force, which I thought was an okay game, but it's, you know, it's not really a Ratchet and Clank game, is it? It's like a MOBA spin-off, um, and I have never played All for One either, which is like the top-down party game spin-off thing, um, for obvious reasons. I thought the PS4 remake was really good, um, and it was it was an absolute treat to see the original levels remade in the way that they were with the new PS4 graphics and everything. The movie was just okay. It was fun, um, and the fact that it was a tie-in I think probably limited it in some ways. Um, and I don't get a lot of people who say the charm of the original games aren't in there. I think they are. But it's definitely more of a PS3 era Ratchet and Clank game than a PS2 era one, and that's probably what they're talking about. It's kind of hard to put your finger on. But either way, um, I need to use the Groovatron on every kind of enemy in the PS4 version, and I have... I've tried that. I think I've played through the game another two times trying to do that, and I keep apparently missing an enemy, and it's infuriating, and it drove me away from trying to platinum the game. So what I'm saying is, the only platinum Ratchet and Clank trophy I have is, is for Ratchet and Clank 2, and I need to fix that, because in Ratchet and Clank 1, it's a massive bolt grind, um, but I'm running out of video. Thank you for sticking with me for my ramble about Ratchet and Clank. Uh, sadly, we don't have more time to talk about it. I could go on for hours. You know I could, but either way. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one.